And I want to give a shout out first to Clownfish TV who covered this story all of a month ago, but it is now just getting all of the due coverage that it deserves because this story is absolutely insane. Imagine for a second, guys, that you are a, a doctor nuts. and you're, you're married and you guys go to a Disney restaurant. And at that Disney restaurant, you repeatedly tell them that you have a nut allergy and to please don't put anything, you know, that will cause an allergic reaction into my food. They acquiesce and then you still have an allergic reaction and then you die at the hospital. And then after that, when your grieving husband decides to sue Disney, they tell you that they're going to try and get it thrown out of court because you once signed up for a free trial of Disney Plus. This is a real story. So this is this is the most dystopian big brother. Oh, absolutely, guys! This is this this is insane. This is like a so, black like Black Mirror come true. Disney is trying to get a wrongful death lawsuit filed by a New York University doctor's grieving husband tossed because he signed up for Disney Plus Disney Plus streaming service back in 2019. Okay, Jeffrey uh, Jeffrey Piccolo is suing the theme park juggernaut, claiming that his wife suffered a fatal allergic reaction shortly after eating at Disney Springs restaurant in Florida last October. But Disney is claiming that the fifty thousand dollar lawsuit should be moved out of the courts because Piccolo agreed to arbitrate all disputes with the company when he first signed up for a one month trial of Disney Plus. You watched one episode of Mandalorian and have sold your soul to the devil. Like, I honestly, in a lot of ways, I wanted to collect more memes about this because what they deserve more than anything is derision. Disney what? deserves to be derided about this. And I debated on covering it because the, the story is older now, right? Like I said, so Clownfish covered this okay. a month ago, but everybody that can cover this should cover it yeah, because they huge. should not get away I, with this. This is a slippery yeah. slope. I want to know, and I want to know is specifically like, the the legal team by Disney. I want to know the exact people who are pushing this because I it yes, it's not everyone at Disney, right? Well, no, they, look, I, we make the joke on here all the time. This is insane. It's a lawyer's job to be a bad person. Okay, it's it's their job. <laughs> this is this is like but depravity, Disney, though. Disney is the one that decides whether this goes forward. Who who though? Like I want to see those names. You know, that's what yeah. I'm saying. It, it's like you're not doing anyone a favor by just saying this conglomerate yeah. Disney is responsible. His attorney has slammed Disney Plus's latest motion as preposterous and outrageously unreasonable. In the May 31st motion filed in Orange County, Florida, uh, Disney argued that the Disney Plus subscriber agreement Piccolo signed years earlier on his PlayStation called for any dispute, with the exception of small claims, to be resolved to individual binding arbitration. First of all, he's suing for way too little. Someone in yeah, chat. Yeah, that's shocking. 50,000 is like, this is a nuisance suit. If Disney was smart, they would get this thing out of the news cycle yes. as fast well, as possible. Well, that's how disgusting they are. Someone in I'm chat sorry. is like, it's not It's not Disney's fault. It's the restaurant. My dude, it's a Disney restaurant. Yeah, it's a Disney-owned restaurant. Yeah, like, I mean, maybe maybe go after the chef if you really want to hurt someone. But no, it, it is Disney. And Disney's the one that's... It's Disney's legal team, so by definition, it's Disney's. This, yeah, I, I hope the judge once is finally finally they have their day in court just eviscerates mm -hmm. Disney. I hope he like does not hold back because this is insane. This is insanity. Um, and people should put like, do you guys remember? And I've brought this story up on the show several times. Back in 2019. Uh, a father who had a four-year-old child who died requested from Disney that he be allowed to etch Spider-Man on his son's gravestone, and Disney denied the request because they said it would destroy the magic of the character. Hmm. You remember this? Yep. I, I mean, that I at least I understand because it's like IP. This is so different. They're like, hey, you watched a movie one time, so now, like... Grieving you're, father you're has been denied permission to put a picture of Spider-Man on his little boy's grave because Disney wants to preserve the magic of its characters, right? So That's the, a argu different. the argument to be made was that, look, that may be true. What their argument may make sense, but public outcry being what it is, you know, you don't want to look like you're, you know, doing yeah, what you're doing. It, it, it's giving angry Mickey Mouse. Yeah. Like Disney has become that just angry, evil Mickey Mouse character. And I don't think that's a good look for them. No.
Um, this is get, like it. It also makes me think of you guys remember Citizens United, right? So that makes corporations people. Mm. So I just it, it kind of makes this whole thing messy because I'm like, okay, you're suing Disney, the company, who technically would be liable as the person, um, but. So I, I don't really see how Disney is going to weasel its way out of this. Unknown I know they're going to try to. Unknown says, wouldn't it be Sony? No, Sony owns the movie rights to Spider-Man because they acquired those movie rights before Disney bought all the Marvel characters back. So the movie rights and the, and the merchandising rights and everything are different. Mm. So okay, so it would be yeah. Sony. Or so it would be Disney. no, it would be Disney. It would be Disney. So Disney. it would be Disney. So it's insane, and it was it's funny, and it's sad. But there's like a bunch of people that are making comments about this now, and they're deriding Disney as they should mm -hmm. for something like this. Uh, there was this one here. It says Disney legally executing me after I called the newest Marvel film slop because I didn't read the fine print when I went to Disneyland in 1998. Oh my gosh. Yep. That's what it is, and that's it's disgusting. But I imagine, like, I, I have to imagine that they had to have a discussion beforehand, right? Like, is this good for us in the public eye, right? Settle this out of court for infinitely well, more and, and get it know, out of the news cycle. And what's going to happen is actions like this, if it keeps happening, just like Google's getting the monopoly treatment now, yeah. they're like, oh, you guys are massive. Like, you can't be this big. Disney is going to come under that, uh, that yeah. lens. I mean, they, they thought that that was no, going to happen they're in, like, Dude, when they bought Fox. Your entertainment business is so big, it, and it's definitely separate. For, like, your media entertainment is definitely separate from the parks mm -hmm. and, like, the restaurants I mean, that's not even food. necessarily true because the character IP are used at the parks. Yeah, and that and that's what I'm saying. They're they're getting they're they're gonna dig themselves a much deeper hole by trying to defend themselves. I mean, here. here's the thing, this though. Is stupid. The sad fact of the matter is, Disney is a massive corporation with nearly limitless resources. No matter how bad it goes, there Unchecked is the power. idea that there is too that it's too big to fail. So it is dystopian and mm -hmm. it is depressing, but it is hard to believe or imagine a world where the company is actually held responsible for something like this. Right. Like I could understand if she signed a waiver upon entering the park where this restaurant was mm -hmm. and that's the reason this is happening but signing up for the, yeah, the Plus, argument is it's a reach part. it's yeah. a reach There's so a it's a matter of if yeah. the judge allows that or not which will be impactful uh pop culture junkie if disney doesn't settle this quickly the pr stink bomb will cause reputational damage 10 times beyond a potential reasonable settlement elgar should step in i hope so yeah i would They're hope hoping that not the, the thing is though is i'm actually i'm actually kind of doomed like I, i'm the doomerist in this take which <laughs> is that the news cycle moves so fast and people move on from outrage so quickly right. onto mm -hmm. the next thing. I actually believe we now live in a world that benefits these corporations because these types of stories, as egregious as they are, they disappear as soon as they appear mm -hmm. and then everyone just moves on it's not like the, it, yeah. it's weird though because the the spider-man story has stuck with me i still remember when people were making you know people in this space were making videos about that five years ago mm -hmm. and that one stuck with me but you can't expect the average person who doesn't pay attention to these industries to know or care yeah. So right. the company can be like, look, we'll we'll file injunctions, we'll try to get it thrown out of court, and we'll just we'll just wait it out. Like that's the name of the game for a company like this. Like they've got the money. They can just keep going. Which is so that's what then that's what's so crazy to me. It's like just okay, if you disagree that you're liable, well then let go through that, you know, suit. But them saying that you don't have a right to sue us, that's the craziest part for me. Like well, yeah, I mean, looking back at the 90s, like the infamous McDonald's lawsuit where the, the coffee yeah, the coffee older woman yeah. spilled like scorching hot McDonald's coffee all over herself and burned yeah. her legs. Uh, and she won that lawsuit because if if McDonald's hadn't, it would have looked very bad for McDonald's because there wasn't so much going on in the public eye to where people would have forgotten about it. There was a lot of focus and attention on it. So McDonald's kind of had to bend the knee because of the consumers, whereas Disney, they can kind of fly under the radar a little bit more. Um, so that that's concerning to me because uh, yeah, this may be c completely forgotten by like next week This guy says can't believe Bob Iger murdered my entire family and I can't do anything about it because I <laughs> wanted to watch Luke Skywalker in the Mandalorian oh my Like goodness. that's what it feels like yep. as, as can, insane can... as that sounds It's no more insane sounding than Disney saying that's the your, precedent they're setting Yes, that your Disney plus subscription not even subscription free trial yeah. free trial like yeah. that your Disney plus free trial means that you can't sue us yeah and, and it's like I don't expect there to be a big like I know you said you're doomed and you, this will leave the public eye but I think listen you, you've you opened this box you've opened a Pandora's box here with this insanity where they're like Disney you this is an abuse of power 
and now they're under the microscope. So it says, I forgot when I signed up for Disney Plus and it said, if you want to watch The Simpsons, we have the right to kill you. This is that's what it feels like. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's exactly what it feels like. That is like. what it'll open the door and to. There is a there is like a doomerous sense. Like, look, I'm I talk about it on the show all the time. I'm as pro capitalist as anyone. Uh, it's this weird kind of inversion. I have like when we fly uh, and I travel and you see all the shops that are closed at night, you kind of get the idea of like what the what our world looks like when business stops and I kind of have a little bit of weird self-reflection on these industries. But corporations like Disney aren't really accountable to anyone anymore yeah. because of the size of them. People in the chat were saying like, look, they don't have the limitless resources anymore. Yes, their stock price will fall whenever something bad happens. It manages to climb its way back up to middle ground and uh, you have to keep hammering them if you want to see corporations like that actually make stuff that you want. But that's a different question entirely than something like this. This isn't about getting Disney to make products that you want. It's mm -hmm. about Disney being held responsible for something that happened and the argument that they're using being absolutely insane to try and get Disney, out of it. Disney's been running wild for too long. I will say... If making you, bad movies. Mm, like If you pull up a picture of the, the victim again um, in the article... She's got a lab coat on. So, I mean, unless she's just playing dress up. She's, like, a, I assume, she's a doctor. Exactly. Yeah. I assume she's intelligent. And people with allergies know their allergies. Like, like the fatal stuff doesn't happen anymore. Because, especially for adults, you sometimes you see it with, like, peanut allergies in kids where something tragic happens. But adults have gone through their whole life knowing mm -hmm. to avoid certain things. And she's intelligent because she's a doctor. So, like, he said they, the they, they've got to answer questions. Yeah, and they've got to answer questions. Mistakes happen at restaurants, especially yep. in this day and age where Gen Z, and we'll talk about it later, but you can't even understand what Gen Alpha and Gen Z is talking about because of brain rot. We're yeah, gonna, mistakes we're gonna are going to, yeah, mistakes are going to happen in the kitchen. <laughs> it says that she repeatedly stressed to wait staff that she had a nut and, uh, nut and dairy allergies when she ordered scallops, onion rings, broccoli, and corn fritters. And uh, they had, uh, in, according to the filing, soon after leaving the restaurant, she started experiencing difficulty breathing collapsed she died at the hospital shortly after so i i want to see the case go forward and i'm glad that clownfish got onto this earlier but i want more people to cover it because it does put some pressure on disney to try and settle this yeah i i wish that them. this would get more coverage than the johnny depp amber heard case well i mean <laughs> like, we've that talked would be a great, uh, extensively great about how the, well that's that's going to turn into the blake lively and justin baldani stuff every next. five to ten years we get like this massive like trial that everyone's watching yeah. i feel like mm -hmm. you know like oj casey anthony there's big ones that pop up in between but like massive ones like everyone was watching oj everyone was watching casey anthony everyone was watching johnny depp yep you know so what's the next one thanks for watching listen to full episodes of pop culture crisis on spotify keep up with us on social media and make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss the show bye guys